if anyone can make dog food delicious, it's this guy right here. Dog Chef, food? Chef, 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 Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro is in the kitchen with, the, with us today. And this is not dog food. This is yummy southern home style goodness. What do you got for My it? dog loves it, though. Uh, your dog would love it for sure, and I, I would have, love it. I have a new dog. Hello, Lucy. She's Lucy. watching right now. Lucy? Mm -hmm. Not a cat lover, Lucy? No, she likes cats. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, she likes Gets everybody. Along with everybody. She loves everybody. She's a lover. She's a lover. Okay, so, so what are you cooking? Chef We've Jeff. got our Rebel Yell pot roast. Mm -hmm. You know why we call it Rebel Yell pot roast? Why is that? Because in the midnight hour, you in want the night. mo mo mo. Yeah, nice, right? Like late night food. That's like right. That. And we've also got a whole Cajun fried Cornish game hen. Wow. You know why? Why is that? It's awesome. Because it's awesome. Rebel Yell pot roast it's and the Cornish game hen. What are we going to start with first? We're going to do we're going to do our pot roast first. Okay, so yeah. stick around for that. The Rebel Yell pot roast coming right up. We are back down in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. He's making Rebel Yell pot roast. He Ooh. brought in some red skin potatoes, and because I get all jazzed on election day, I thought I'd sit here and juggle and see how long I can keep it up. One handed. One handed. Two handed. So all listen, right. I'm going to sit here and juggle. You cook, and then when you need these potatoes, you just Rebel Yell. You got it. All right. So, uh huh. Uh, very complicated to do a 12 hour cooking process in four minutes, but we're going to do it. Uh -huh. So, um, How are you going to do that? Chuck roast uh, talent. Okay. Chuck roast. This is what you want to start with. And you want to start with salt and pepper, which is everybody's favorite seasoning in the whole wide world. So we've got salt and pepper, both sides of your meat. You caught And me. I've got a pan full of hot oil over here. Real hot. Real hot. Don't burn now, yourself. Oh, I won't. Now, you're going to flour your meat because in your Why crock pot. Why would you do that? Because in your crock pot, which is what we're going to cook it in, does not brown things. It makes things awesome, but it doesn't brown them. So we got a nice hot, hot pan. See the smoke come off? Now, whoa! we're going to get some nice color on there. It's hot in this kitchen. That's right. So we got that going. Got it going. And we're going to let that set. Now we're going to get our vegetables going for our crock pot. Do you need these potatoes? Because they're getting hot. I do need those oh, potatoes. Oh, good. All right. About so time. you want your potatoes, when you cut them, to be like a nice, equal size. OK? What if we like to vary the size? Then that's wrong. Don't do that. I thought there were no rules when you came in the kitchen, Jeff. There's Brown. one. What's that? Gotta wear a shirt. Gotta wear a shirt. So, what about the bottom? Well, never mind. Pants are options. Okay. Depends on what you're making. Bacon, pantless, not fun. <laughs> not a good idea. Okay, so <laughs> get your potatoes like small size. Now, remember, you got a bunch of stuff going in here, so don't overdo it, okay? Because okay. next thing you know, you got too much. You got way too much stuff. It's not good. Carrots. I like these little Malibus to peel carrots. You can use baby carrots. You can use whole carrots. Tops on them ain't going to hurt nobody. Really? You're not, gonna, you're not going to cut them? It ain't going to hurt nobody. Okay. All right. Onions. Onions. You're not going to cut them either? I got them. Oh, cut them right, right, right. How about some shallots? I like my shallots. Because this thing's going to cook for like 12 hours. You're going to put this on, on low. You're going to go into work. Low and slow. Gonna, Love the You're going to do pot. stuff. Now, salt and pepper is very important. Chris, will you do me a favor? Yes. Without burning yourself. Yes. Now let me do it. Because I burnt. I you don't burnt. trust me? What do you get? What? You don't let trust me, me? Let me do it. Okay, you do it. See my color? So that's it? You just wanted to flip the You just want to brown. And you couldn't trust me? No, Man, I did. Okay, so look. Season your vegetables underneath, okay? That's important. Okay. Season them. Because you're going to get some seasoning down below, but not too much, okay? okay. Now, okay. remember why we. Brown our meat because it does not brown in the pan. Okay. Also, that it little just cooks. that little bit of flour that you're getting on there is also going to help with your sauce and your gravy. Nice. Okay. So it's going to help bring that up. That's a good tip. I now, like so you take your, your chuck and just pop it right on top, just like that. Okay. Okay. Now we're not done because you're going to want to take a little bit of water and just get all that goodness out of there. Okay. This is going to help with your sauce. And you're glazing that pan and getting all that flavor. Okay. Just pour it in on the side. Okay? Just a little bit of water. That's good stuff. And then pop your lid on there. And set it for 12 hours. Go to work, go to basketball, go to baseball, go, go to low. football practice, whatever. Come home, there it is. Do what you gotta go. do, and then you come home to smelly good stuff. Smelly good stuff. Smelly good stuff, and then you got one of these sitting waiting for you. Whoa! Which is look at like that. nice to have. Now, so it comes out just like that. It comes out just like that. Just like that. Now, on a plate, ready to eat. The vegetables don't always have to be your grandma's potatoes, onions, and carrots. Use beets. Use Brussels sprouts. Use your use your fall squashes, your butternuts, your acorns, which mm -hmm. we're going to have later. 
Sweet use, potatoes too. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Use whatever you want. It's there's no rules when it comes to that. Okay, this just is, one. You gotta wear a shirt. Okay, this is awesome stuff. In the next segment, you are gonna cook some uh, corn right. game hen. We're gonna do some whole Cajun fried corn game hen. But look, you want that shred. Shredded. That's me. what you want. So that's what? That's 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 Mama Rec approved, right? Mama Rec approved on a Sunday, but we never had Rebel Yell in the background. Listen, good job in the first segment. We'll catch him up in the second one. Cornish game head. Time Thanks. for Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. We're back in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. He already did his Rebel Yell pot roast. Now it's time to move on to his cold Cajun fried Cornish game him. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes, very good. This is a very popular uh, special that we run on our chalkboards. Uh, great, another great comfort food staple. Uh huh. And uh, just very easy to do. Uh, I just want to warn everybody: please be careful if you're going to going to do this at home. Be careful when you're frying stuff at home. Right. Um, you know, don't overfill your containers with oil. You know, we all see the the blooper videos There's at home. So many home fires yes. started by please just frying chicken. And and, and you and chicken. you don't have to fry these. You could also you could do them in the oven. Bake um, it. You could bake them. Yep. You could do them in a pan. Uh, okay. Cornish game hen is a great item to use. And uh, let's jump right on into this thing and get going. Knock it out. Okay, so we got our, we got our game hen, and, um, and besides doing the hammer dance, uh, another thing that you could do is you just dry this thing out. You want to make sure that you start with a really dry bird, inside and out. Okay, so you're gonna have to get real. How do you dry a bird just out? Just get real personal with it. Just paper towels. Just, just wipe it. Yep. Just yep. Okay. And just wipe get, it down. Just get real personal with it, and I mean it is what it is. Dry it down. Okay, so and we got some Cajun season, and we're just gonna get real liberal with just getting it all over there. And you just want to really just rub this thing down, all over. Inside and out. That thus the Cajun part. Yes, yeah, and this okay. and the reason why is because you know about fifty percent of this is going to come off inside the fryer. Okay. Oh, so you just want to put a whole bunch. Yeah, on you it. really just want to get it on Cajun there. With the Cajun sauce. I love doing Some this. Some people are going to think it's going to be too spicy, but they're going to think that. They're going to think that. But, but you know what? What? They're going to be wrong. They're going to be wrong. So really, or I like to say misinformed because the Miss, customer's always right. right. That's true. What about the uh, the talent, the anchor? You called me talent. I'm not the sure talent. about The talent. He's Always the talent. Right. Always right. I'm the looks. That's right. Not the brains. He's a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. We're, we're a little crazy. Because gotcha. it's election day. Get out there and vote. That's right. Okay. You can't complain if you don't vote. That's right. Go ahead. What you so, got? You right. tie that bird up? We're going to tie it up. We're going to give it a real quick truss. This is called a butcher's knot. I'm going to do this with gloves on. See if Ooh. I can do it. So you're just going to go around, 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 around. Around, 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 around. Tie that. Tie that. Around, 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 around. And we're gonna come down. You're getting personal with that bird. You got to. Show him who's boss. That's right. Boom. All right, nice job. So we're gonna come up around, get his little legs up. The reason why you're doing that. Why? Is so he have a nice tight little body. Because we all want a tight little body. Yeah, we always can't get what you want though. But in the kitchen you can. But if you and try some, if street, you try sometimes, you might just find you get what you need. You get what you need. Okay. Okay. Nice. So all boom, right. there's that. Snip them off. Make them pretty. Nice. Here we go. What so, are you gonna do? In the fryer it goes? Into the fryer. Stand we're back, everybody. Let them drop. We're just going to be real careful. Set them down. Whoa. Whoa. She is Slowly. frying up. Slowly. Nice and slow. Okay. We're Don't not. burn yourself, Jeff. I'm not. Be careful. Jeff is very careful. I'm a professional. Yeah, the volunteer uh, volunteers from Virginia Beach, they've left already. So. Nothing to see here. It's okay. So. Okay. Mm, I got to roll. the seasoning. So, see? Okay, so listen. Um, in That's going to go goes, for about, we, about 12, 15 minutes. Okay. Internal temperature. Of 165. Okay? You want a nice, you want to make sure that you got it. You can pull about 160 because it's going to rise when it's done. There you go. Hey, you, you got, got a minute to go. Can you wrap this up? Oh my God, are you kidding me? I think you can. So, what are you going to serve on the side? I got some nice that? fall sides. A little acorn squash. Got some acorn squash. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. Brown sugar and cinnamon. That's it. Okay. I got roasted cauliflower. Very nice. On the menu at Cotton Southern Beast Always. Do you need the tongs? No. I'm just holding on to this for something. You can do that. My hand. Go. So look, we're gonna take that. Uh -huh. We're gonna take that. Take a couple of those. We're gonna grab us a bird. We're gonna give him a little snip, snip. Set them free. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Now, this is on the menu right now. Along with the pot. We roast. can do this for caterings right now because we are catering crazy right now. This is a big time of year for you guys at Cotton Southern Beach. Parties. We're at both locations there in Chesapeake and Virginia Beach Hilltop. Yep. Um, what else you got? We Call got now for ca uh, for uh, catering. Holidays mm -hmm. coming up, caterings, parties, Thanksgivings coming up, buffet in Chesapeake, take home, both locations for Hilltop and for Chesapeake. You want that? That's right. You want to try their, their uh, Cotton Southern Bistro. Don't forget their Thanksgiving meal to go is on the menu as well. Cotton Southern Bistro at located at 648 Grassfield Parkway, number 12 in Chesapeake, 609 3156. 
or find them online, cottonsouthernbistro.com. And they're also located at Hilltop West Shopping Center in Virginia Beach, 961-6474. Once again, cottonsouthernbistro.com. Jeff Brown, great job. Rebel Yell, give it to me. Woo! All right, to the buzz we go.